Hello, it's Jeanette J Beauty, and today I will be showing you Zanai's curly hair routine from wash day to styling her hair. And I also wanted to show you how to have a fuss-free wash day, and the first tip that I can recommend is just having your little one involved in the whole routine. It's just really gonna make this whole process a lot easier. And I will be using this bubble bath from Alafia. It is their coconut and hibiscus coconut strawberry bubble bath. And I really like this scent. It's not overbearing, but it definitely smells good and created a lot of bubbles. Zanai, along with my baby son Kavari, really love taking bubble baths, and for this reason, I I really make sure that I do set up a really nice bubble bath for wash day routine because they get really excited to go in the bath, take a bath, and it really makes this whole process a lot easier. I will also be adding these sea creatures that I bought from the dollar store, and the dollar store has a variety of items that I get for both Kavari and Zanai, ranging from activity books and books that they like to read. Also, they have a lot of toys, both educational and toys that they just like to play with. So definitely check out the dollar store because they have affordable items that you can get for your little ones and that are really fun to play with. Now that Zanai is really comfortable and acclimated with the water and the bubbles, I'm going to just saturate her hair with water, just like my hair. When you wet your hair and just have it nice and saturated, products are going to penetrate into it a lot better and that is the whole goal. And you can see Zanai, she's having a lot of fun here. She just really loves taking bubble baths. For her shampoo, I'm gonna use the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Wrench and this is one of my favorite shampoos. And this shampoo works really well on Zanai's hair. She does have low porosity and her hair is fine. So I'm really able to work products into her hair with ease. I don't have any fuss with really trying to work or detangle her hair. It's just really easy. So for that reason, I'm not going to do too much to her hair. I'm just going to shampoo and condition. Also, when I'm shampooing her hair, I'm just going to massage her scalp. <laughs> <laughs> And Zanai got a little bit of water on me and on the floor. She is so expressive and she's just so special. I just absolutely love her so much. So I'm just gonna continue to massage her scalp and finger comb the shampoo through her hair. And I do this process for about a minute and a half. And here's a close-up of what her hair looks like with the shampoo. So I really love that it lathers very nice, but it's not harsh on her hair. Her hair definitely stays moisturized even after I rinse it out with water. And now it's time to rinse the shampoo out of her hair. So all I do is just move the water so that there's no soap or bubbles in the water, take the picture, and then just run the water on her hair. And here's how her hair looks after I have rinsed the shampoo out. Now for her conditioner, I'm gonna use the Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard, and this is also one of my favorite conditioners, and it works really great with her hair. And she just really loves applying products to her hair. Like I said, just involve your little one in this routine, and it'll make it so much easier. Now for her conditioner, I'm just going to apply it similarly to how I was applying the shampoo. I really want to make sure that all her hair is saturated with the conditioner. I don't have to apply too, too much, but I want to make sure that her hair is nice and nourished. And you can really see how well her hair is taken to the conditioner and this is why I continue to use this conditioner on her hair and products like this that don't contain protein, I find that they work really good on her hair. And here I am just playing with the sea creatures, trying to keep this energy going and I'm gonna comb her hair with this wide tooth comb, really making sure that the conditioner is combed in well. Yeah, you see, I need to comb your hair. Mommy. Yes, I love you. And I spend about two to three minutes just making sure that the conditioner is combed in her hair really well. I just really want to make sure that the conditioner really nourishes, conditions her hair like it should. And here's how her hair looks after I have finished combing in the conditioner. And this is pretty much what I look for. I really want her hair to be nice and moisturized. And then I'm gonna give her her bath and then I'm gonna come back and rinse the conditioner out. 
So as I've mentioned, I left the conditioner in, I gave her her bath, and this really helps to further condition the hair. I'm not gonna rinse it out right away, but rather give her her bath, let the conditioner seep in, and then rinse it out. And to rinse the conditioner out, I'm just gonna use the fresh water from the shower head. And fast forward to styling her hair, I am going to put this shea butter on from Malafia. It's in the scent Passion Fruit, and I really like this. It's a nice, thick, creamy butter, and it works really good, especially now that it's winter time, to help moisturize the nice skin, and she absolutely loves this as well. So while she's rubbing her hands with the shea butter, I'm going to put the leave-in conditioner in her hair. And this is from Kinky Curly. It's their Not Today leave-in conditioner. And I absolutely love this for both of our hair. So my children use the same products that I use in my hair. So I don't mind spending the money because I use the same products too. So we just all share. And I just applied a good amount and I'm just applying it all over her hair like I said I do not have to section her hair because she does have low porosity and fine hair so I just put all the products in her hair in one as I'm applying the leave-in conditioner in her hair I'm just working it in really well making sure that no strand gets left behind so I do spend about 30 seconds to a minute doing this step Next, I'm gonna put some oil on. This is from Badger, and this is their Argon Botanical Hair Oil, and it also has other oils in it. I really love it. It's very lightweight. As I've already mentioned, Denai's hair is low porosity and fine, but I tend to find the products that I use, especially a light hand, works really good for her. I use the same WLOS method as I do for myself. I just find that using a little bit of the products works really great for her and keeps her hair nice and moisturized. Now, I do notice on day three, her hair does get a little bit frizzy, but it's not dry. It just looks more fluffy and like an airy, fluffy look. So I do wash her hair about every four days. Now for her styler, I'm gonna use the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. And I really like this for my hair, but I find that with her hair, it really locks that moisture in and it also gets her curls nice and popping. And this is all I use for her hair. I just rub it in, I work it in really well, and you see she's distracted by the phone. She wants the camera, she wants everything that I have over here, but I just really work this kinky curly curling custard in her hair really good. And she's trying to apply whatever she has on her hand on her face. She's getting it from my nighttime skincare routine. She's always watching me in the mirror, and I give her a little bit of that cream so she can act like she's doing a nighttime skincare routine as well. <laughs> And as I'm applying this custard, I'm being very strategic, applying it in some areas. I do a little finger coil because her hair is growing and I'm so happy. I have done some simple styles like puffs and double puffs. It has really been helping. All the oils, the products I have been using have really been helping to just really grow her hair and have her hair looking so moisturized, just like mine, and I'm so, so happy. And after I have applied the three products to her hair, here's how it looks. It's very, very moisturized. It's not greasy whatsoever. And here on the left is my third son playing a game with her. And I just really love how her hair looks. It's just so healthy. It is definitely thriving. And her hair is not weighed down at all, which is a great thing. Now I'm going to use the same wide tooth comb. I did wash it to make sure that there are no products on it. And I'm just going to comb her hair, making sure that A, it's not tangled and it's very smooth. I really want to make sure that all these products really help with her curl definition. And you can see Kavari in the background. He is singing our ears off, but that's okay. As long as he is happy and not crying, that is all good. I just continue to comb her hair. I'm being very gentle. I just really want to make sure that the products are working very well and her hair is nice and smooth and not tangled whatsoever. And you could really see that her curls are clumping together. They look so juicy and I really love it. Like I've already said, her hair is not weighed down. It's not greasy at all, but it looks so good, so moisturized, so healthy, and I just love it. And here's how her hair looks after I finish. I tried to get some good video clips, but the lighting is not doing any justice, so I had to take some pictures. 
And here's how her curls look. They are so healthy, they're shining, and they feel so soft. So now to the morning time, here's how her hair looks. So as I've mentioned before, with her low porosity and fine hair, here's how the curls look. So even though they're not so defined, they have more of a airy look to it. So it's more of like that wispy look. And I just wanted to refresh her hair. So all I'm gonna do is take some diluted leave-in conditioner. This is from Shea Moisture from their coconut line and this works really good. As I've already mentioned, I diluted it so it's not too heavy on her hair. And then I'm just going to take individual curls and just twirl it around my fingers. I'm gonna do this a couple times and this is just gonna get the curls back intact. And that's Zanai's wash day and curly hair routine. I really hope that you enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.